Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban bikum and welcome back to episode number 11 in our Qasas al Nabiyyin guided reading series. So today we are reading story number 11, Da'watul Walid. Alhamdulillah al alamin wa salatu wa ala rasulillah amma ba'd. So let's proceed. Story number 11, Da'watul Walid, calling his father. Wa arada Ibrahimu an yad'uwa walidahu aydan. Faqala lahu ya abati lima ta'budu ma la yasma'u wa la yubsir wa arada ibrahim an yad'uwa walidahu aydan wa arada ibrahim we mentioned that arada yuridu iradatan means to want something and it is always followed by an or a mustar so wa arada ibrahim an يَدْعُوَ وَالِدَهُ أَيْضًا So Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam wanted that يَدْعُوَ So يَدْعُوَ is what he wanted He wanted to call his father as well يعني he wanted to give da'wah In this specific instance you may be wondering why it is يَدْعُوَ instead of يَدْعُوَ That is because an is also a harf nasibah It makes fi'l mudari' منصوب وأراد إبراهيم أن يدعو والده أيضا So Ibrahim عليه الصلاة والسلام wanted to invite his father also والده هو والده هو This is مضاف and مضاف إليه والد is منصوب because it is the مفعول of يدعو and أيضا means also فَقَالَ لَهُ So he said to him, يَا أَبَتِي O oh my father, لِمَا تَعْبُدُ مَا لَا يَسْمَعُ وَلَا يُبَصِرُ Why do you worship things that cannot hear, nor cannot see? يَا أَبَتِي is a phrase meaning, O oh my father. لِمَا means why. تَعْبُدُ We mentioned means to worship. مَا لَا يَسْمَعُ That which does not Listen, wala, nor does it yubasir, nor does it see. Absara, yubasiru, ibsar means to see. Walima ta'abudu ma la yanfa'u, wala yadur. And why do you worship that which does not benefit? No. Cause harm. We mentioned that nafa'a yanfa'u means to benefit and darra yadurru means to harm. Ya abati la ta'budi shaytan. O oh my father, la ta'budi shaytan. Do not worship shaytan. Now you may be wondering why is it ta'budi shaytan, not ta'budu shaytan. Here it is, there is a kasra here because. This construction, la ta'bud, is fi'l nahi. It is the opposite of amr. A fi'l amr is a commandment. This is a commandment not to do something. So it was originally la ta'bud. La ta'bud. Ash-shaytan. But because there is two seconds here and one here, as we mentioned in the video, we must we must put a kasra due to iltiqa sakinin. Ya abati abudir Rahman. Oh my father, Urbud, worship Ar Rahman, the most merciful. It's also worth noting that Ya Abati is actually a term of endearment. It is a term used to show love. Aslan, yani originally it is Ya. Abi. However, it changes into Ya Abati for an even more emphatic phrase like, Oh my father. Wa walidu Ibrahim. And Ibrahim's father became angry. Wa qala ana adribuk. Fatrukni wala taqul shay'a. And he said, Ana adribuk. I will hit you. Fatrukni wala taqul shay'a. So leave me. And do not say anything. وَكَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ حَلِيمًا فَقَالَ لِوَالِدِهِ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكِ 
wa kana ibrahimu alayhi salatu wasalam haliman and ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was haliman halim means forbearant or patient fa qala li walidihi salamun alayk so he said to his father peace be upon you wa qala lahu ana adhhabu min huna wa ad'u rabbi and he said to him ana adhhabu min huna i shall go from here wa ad'u rabbi and i shall call on to my rabb wa ta'assafa ibrahim jiddan wa arada an yadhhaba ila baladin akhar wa ya'budu rabbah wa yad'u an-nasa ila allah wa ta'assafa ibrahim jiddan we mentioned in a previous video that ta'assafa yata'assafu ta'assufan means to be grieved or distressed so this means an ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was distressed jiddan means very so ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was very distressed he was very grieved wa arada an yadhhaba ila baladin akhar and he wanted to yadhhab and he wanted to go to another land as we mentioned arada is usually followed by an yadhhab dhahaba yadhhabu means to go dhahaba in this case is mansub because of an which is harf nasiba the verb dhahaba is usually followed by the preposition ila because you go to somewhere and balad means a land and akhar means other so balad in akhar means another land wa ya'buda rabbah wa yad'u an-nasa ila Allah wa ya'buda rabbah and worship his rabb wa yad'u an-nasa ila Allah and call the people to Allah azza wa jal so now firstly we'll translate the sentence fully wa ta'assafa ibrahim jiddan and ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was very distressed he was very grieved wa arada an yadhhaba ila baladin akhar and he intended to go to another land wa ya'buda rabbah and worship his lord wa yad'u an-nasa ila Allah and call the people to Allah now if you're wondering why the dal in ya'bud is mansub and why the waw in yad'u is mansub this is because they are connected to the an here they are linked to this meaning and ibrahim wanted to go as we know he wanted to, to go to another land and in that land he wanted to worship allah kareem azza wa jal and he wanted to invite the people towards islam and that brings us to the end of this video i hope you've taken benefit from it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe but that's it from me Take care and I will see you on the other side, inshallah. Ma'a salama.